Hi, I'm Dr. Manny, and we're in the West Jefferson Medical Center. This hospital is two hours away from the Gulf oil disaster, yet many patients are coming here with a lot of emergencies. Let's go inside and take a look to see what's going on. Since the Deepwater Horizon oil spill on April 20, 2010, more than 100 illnesses have been reported in Louisiana and Alabama. West Jefferson Medical Center in Marrero, Louisiana, has seen 11 cases. Three of those patients had to be airlifted. I spoke with one of the emergency room doctors treating these workers. This is one of the leading hospitals here in the Gulf area to treat accidents and rigs and things like that in the oil industry. But now you're seeing patients with other types of complaints. What kind of complaints are they having? We've seen anything ranging, I think of it from head to toe, headaches, dizziness, lightheadedness, um, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, chest pain, shortness of breath, um, some trauma, injuries, uh, multiple, really multiple complaints. None of the oil spill workers we reach out to who were complaining of health problems would speak on camera. On May 27, 2010, West Jefferson Medical Center conducted this interview with a fisherman who didn't want to be identified by name about his condition. I was feeling weak and uh, I thought it was. I had real high blood pressure. We believe maybe it's from the dispersal. But uh, they have other guys, too, that was feeling bad, headaches and nauseated. The hospital has a contingency plan for disasters, and one of the tools they use is a hazmat tent. Oil spill workers admitted with symptoms of toxic irritants are decontaminated here before entering the ER for treatment. But physical symptoms aren't the only problems workers might face. In communities still reeling from Hurricane Katrina, post-traumatic stress disorder could also be an issue. They're going to be seeing those same type of symptoms, stress, anxiety, sleepless nights. Give some mental health professional a call to give you a hand because that's not unusual. As a matter of fact, it's a normal reaction to such a situation. For workers and first responders in Grand Isle, Louisiana, West Jefferson Medical Center has set up a first aid tent equipped to handle heat exhaustion, cuts, abrasions, and insect bites. They treated about 75 patients there so far. Now BP is uh, sort of redirecting the patient flow to their private um, uh, area for triaging. Is that correct? Yes, sir. We were seeing a number of people coming in off the boats and the beaches and when the tent was initially set up. Since that time, I've been instructed to redirect those patients to the private ambulance company that BP has retained to keep track of the um, injuries and illnesses of their employees. You know, and the funny part is we tried to get an interview with the, in the BP tent, but of course that has been denied, so we still don't have any clear numbers of the kind of uh, things that they're seeing. The CDC, of course, is monitoring very closely what's going on in, the, in these communities because, you know, there is the, the possibility that we might be looking at a major health crisis. Uh, and, and ultimately, uh, we don't know what the long-term effects, you know, from reproduction. We're very concerned about pregnant women, small children, people with debilitating chronic pulmonary diseases, uh, what all of this is going to create for these communities.